Uh, hello everyone, this is Crystal speaking here and today we will show you um, some demo videos about how to refurbish iPhone 6s LCDs. Uh, as we all know that the aftermarket LCDs are very uh, become very popular now and the price it is much cheaper uh, uh, compared with the original one. But uh, there is one problem it is that it is hard for us to control the quality of the aftermarket LCDs. So uh, if you would like to uh, get the original one, uh, the quality as original one LCDs, it is better for you to refurbish by yourself. So uh, that will be more easier for you to control the quality and, and also uh, it is uh, very easy for you to control the cost as well. So today we will show you the details. And see here, uh, this is a simple set. This is the first one, we call it 5-in-1 machine, uh, which combines the uh, glue remover, the manual, lamina uh, manual LCD se separation, and also base screen lamination functions together. And it will include all the modes, that modes together, for iPhone versions, like 4, 4S, 5 versions, 6, 6S, like that. And the second one, it is the new 3-in-1 automatic OCA film machine, which will help you to apply the OCA film or the polarizer film on LCD. And the last one, uh, this is a, a new one which we just launched last week. And it will help you to, uh, to do OCA vacuum lamination and also bubble removal function together. And this one, no need help compressor and no need vacuum pump. So it is very easy for you to process. And also, um, this machine it is with little, very little noise, so uh, that will be uh, more uh, quiet while you do refurbish. Okay, and then this is the correct LCD for iPhone 6s. And this 5 one, it is with the built-in vacuum pump as well. that is built in with this machine. while you do separation to the edge. Okay. Okay, so then we went to the second step. That is doing glue removal. While you do glue remover, the polarized film that will be removed together with the glue. Okay, then go to the next step. It is to clean, 
clean the rest of the glue on the LCD. You can use a small, small knife to help you, but uh, make sure that you can keep the blade in balance so it will not make your LCD scratch. Um, while you apply the Oka film and also polarizer film on LCD, there is one important thing that you need to think about, that is about the dust issue. So, uh, it is better to have one uh, the dust brain area for you to do this step. Like here you see, this is um, uh, a medium size of the dust free room you, we use here. And it has fan and the filter on the top. And this uh, automatic OCA film lam laminating machine, which has the built-in pump as well. So uh, you just need to connect with electricity. Then you can start to use this machine. First, you will use the polarized film to cover the LCD to see if it is in the right place. And then push the upper side down and it will attach the polarized film to the other side, to the right side of your hand, to the other side. After you put the polarizer film on LCD, the next step for you to do it is uh, to, to uh, apply the anti-static glue. Uh, many customers do not know uh, what is this step for. This step it is uh, for you to avoid the static issue because while you uh, remove the old polarizer film on the LCD, um, the static th that is uh, get off as well. So after you apply with a new polarizer film, then you will use the anti-static glue to both corners and make it get connect with the polarizer film. Then after refurbish, your LCD will, ha uh, will not have any issue about static. Sometimes the problem will like 
um, if, if you uh, touch the screen, it will have colorful images, and then if you uh, maybe put a protect frame on it, it will disappear like that. And also sometimes it, it may affect the touch, so it depends. And this step, it is really very important for iPhone 5 versions, uh, and also 6, 6 Plus, and 6S, 6S Plus. But just for iPhone versions, for other versions like Samsung, uh, like Sony, like that, no need to use this step. And after you apply the static glue on the corner, it is better to wait for uh, like minutes to wait uh, the static to become dry. That will have a better result. And now to apply alignment for the Oka view. Okay. Peel of the other protector beam on the polarizer. And the same view. Okay, click start. Then we will use uh, the LCD tester to test if the LCD is a good working one. See the touch. Okay, the pass. <coughs> then we use uh, the alignment mode to put the new glass together with the LCD. of the protect film on the OC. Put with the new glass. And th this is the new uh, glass with the base frame together. Because for iPhone 6, there is, uh, usually there is problem for the base frame after lamination. So uh, there is a new part which combines the glass together with uh, the base frame already. And then you put it on the LCD. And this kind of gold, gold man, uh, the gold metal mode that is customized for uh, the glass with base together alignment. Uh, this is what they call the cold press in the market. And then take it out. While you use the base frame uh, with the glass together, then you will use this kind of the special the special rubble under under this part, so it can uh, protect your base frame, the metal part of the base frame. And and this is the new machine we just introduced. Uh, this one. 
which do not need air compressor and no need vacuum pump as well. And this, this size it is very small. The weight for that one only is 30 kilograms. And fit for the LCD is under uh, maybe like 7 inch. And just click one button then it, can, it will start. And you can see that there is no other noise while it is working. See, there is no no voice while this machine it is working. It is very really really very quiet. And for about six minutes. So six minutes. Yeah. Around five or six min minutes, it will complete both the big uh, the lamination process and also the bubble removal and let's wait the first step it will do in the vacuum lamination it will about uh, one minute like 60 seconds And the setting for this machine it is really very easy. You can see that um, the number on, on the above that is for the time. Okay, now you can hear that the vacuum lamination process it is finished. And then we will need to wait like four minutes to, for the bubble removal. Okay, now it is complete, and and usually it just need like one second or two seconds to release the air. So once you hear this kind of noise, you can open the door. And this door it is using um, the the handles, so no need to use the the locked screw. See. There is no bubbles at all, and then we test if it is a good working one. 